One of my favorite ways to make people think I know anything about design is to just add drop shadows everywhere. You see this camera? You see how boring it looks? Boom, add a drop shadow, looks way better. You see this text? Boom, drop shadow. Walter White, drop shadow. It's subtle, but it just creates a little bit of depth and separation between your camera and your gameplay. And I think it looks nice. That's why I'm making this video. This works especially great if you use a green screen because it kind of helps to mask out all the little imperfections around the edges. And now you can add drop shadows directly in OBS. And unlike the video I made two years ago, you don't have to make your PNGs or anything like that. You can do all of this directly in OBS completely for free. You can even add outlines and glows to any source in OBS and change up the colors however you want. But I don't want to stop there because then this video will be 30 seconds long and I need the watch time. So later we'll get to some creative ideas you can implement into your own stream, do some animated effects like making the outlines dance to your music or pulse to the sound of you talking. But before that, I wanna do a shout out to the sponsor in this video, VIP SCD Keys. Don't skip this part, okay? You gotta watch the whole thing the whole way through. Don't ever pay full price for Windows. You can get a Windows 11 Pro key on VIP SCD Keys for as little as $21. They got a Christmas sale going on right now. Just use code NUTTY at checkout and you can get 30% off. And if that's still too much for you, they also have Windows 10 keys, which are even cheaper at $15. And those can be upgraded to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. So you get like chargeback protection. They'll send you an activation code. Then you can slap that into your Windows settings and you're good to go. Check out VIP SED keys down below and thank you for paying me so I don't have to beg my viewers for money. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download the OBS plugin. The plugin is called Stroke Glow Shadow. I'll leave it linked down below. Just click on download and download it for whatever platform you're on. It does support Mac and Linux. Uh, if you use Streamlabs, uh, then too bad. Are, are, like, are, like we're at the point where we don't need to give that disclaimer anymore, right? After that, you can relaunch OBS, then go into your camera or any source that you want, go into the filters. And if you installed the plugin correctly, you should see a few new options here. There's stroke, shadow, and glow. That's pretty much the whole video right there. You could really stop right now if you wanted to, but please don't. I'm, I'm trying to feel something. We'll go through each of the options because I do want to show you some of the best settings to use. So we'll start with the drop shadow. We're going to add a shadow filter and it really should just start working immediately. If you don't see the shadow at this point, then A, you did it wrong. So that's your fault. Uh, or B, what's more likely is OBS is drawing the drop shadow correctly, but it's just drawing it outside of the boundary of your camera. So the way to fix that is you can just add a crop pad filter and we're gonna insert some uh, negative values here. So negative 200, 200, 200, 200. So that adds some padding to the camera and then we will drag that filter above the shadow and you should now start to see the shadow. So we can play around with the sliders. We can change the size of the drop shadow to make the shadow softer. We can change the shadow distance to move it away from the camera and then change the shadow angle however we like. Of course, if you want a sharper drop shadow, you can just drag the size slider all the way to zero. I like my shadows to be nice and soft, so I make mine 100. But one setting I recommend everybody change is the blur type. So set it to the dual kawase uh, option. I don't know what that means, but this algorithm is a lot more efficient on your GPU. You'd be surprised how much drop shadows can just tank your GPU, but this setting here, I've noticed is almost zero impact. So definitely use the second option if you're playing some GPU intensive games, you're definitely gonna wanna use dual whatever that is. And while we're talking about green screens, we weren't talking about green screens, I just, that's written in my script for some reason. But if you happen to be using a green screen, just take note that the order of your filters matters. So if you put the green screen filter after the shadow, then it's just gonna cut the shadow out. So you need to put the green screen filter before the shadow. Same thing goes with masks. A lot of people make this mistake. If you're gonna add a mask to your camera to like cut it into a circle, you need to put the mask before the shadow. Otherwise, again, you're gonna cut the shadow out. I've also seen people who think, okay, now that I have a drop shadow on my camera, 
I wanna make my camera smaller, so I'll just hold down the Alt key, drag in from the sides, but then you'll see that also deletes the shadows. So make sure that you don't ever use the Alt cropping tool here, otherwise you'll get rid of the shadow. What you should do instead is go back into the filters for your camera, and we're gonna add another crop pad filter. So we're gonna add a crop pad, and if you wanna make your camera smaller, then just you know enter in some numbers here, maybe like 300, 300, 300. And then remember, drag that over the top here and uh, you should you should get a uh, drop shadows again. I'm I'm way too wide, but uh, I, think, I think you guys get the point. Keep in mind when you crop your camera in this way, it actually crops your camera on all your scenes. So this is my just chatting scene here and it also cropped my camera here and in my gameplay scene, which is not exactly what we want. Now, the best way to get around this is to install another plugin called Source Clone. Now, we talked about Source Clone in another video. I'll link it up here. But essentially, Source Clone allows you to create a copy of your camera, and then you can apply filters to that copy without affecting the original camera. So just to show you how that works, we're gonna turn off all of these filters for now and turn off our camera. Then we're gonna add a Source Clone. We're gonna select our original camera here, and then we're gonna apply the same filters to this clone. So first we got the green screen filter followed by the drop shadow filter. And now if we go back to our just chatting scene, our camera is completely normal. And then go to our gameplay, here it's green screen. But yeah, you can go ahead and add that drop shadow filter to anything you want. It doesn't have to be your camera. It could be images, it could be text. But let's move on to the second filter, which is the stroke filter. Now, this is something you'd use if you want to draw an outline around something. And this works especially good for green screens. So you can change the stroke size to change the thickness of the outline. And you can also change the color. So we can, we can change the color to red. And you can also change the offset. Now we're gonna come back to this later, but if you adjust the offset, you can see that it pushes the outline slightly away from the subject. So uh, you can do some really cool effects with this, which again, we'll come back to later. And if you don't wanna use a boring color as the stroke, you can change the fill type to source. Now, what you can do here is you can choose another source you have added. For example, uh, I got this picture of of Boris, Boris Johnson, my, uh, my good pal here, uh, you could use that picture as your outline. But it doesn't have to be a former prime minister. You could do something more sensible like using the gradient plugin. Again, all of these plugins will be linked down below, but what you can do with the gradient plugin is we'll just add it here. We'll choose gradient. You can create like a two-tone square. So I'm, I'm gonna choose some colors here, uh, red, and uh, blue. So we got, we got this two-toned rectangle here, and then we'll just hide this, go back into our filters, and then for that stroke, we're gonna change the source from uh, my good pal Boris, we're gonna change it to gradient. And now you can see around me, instead of a single color, we've got like this cool two-tone thing going on. But you can even take it a step further than that. Right now, we've got the cool two colors, but it's pretty static. So what you can do is you can go back to the gradient source and we're gonna add another filter. So using another plugin uh, called OBS Shader Filter, again, everything linked down below, we can add something called a rotating shader. So we'll just add a user-defined shader and I'm gonna look for my rotating shader. What the shader does is it spins that little gradient around in a circle. And if we go back to our original camera, we can see now the outline has got a little bit more uh, of a dynamic effect to it. I'm just gonna decrease the thickness of this stroke a little bit, but uh, the end result looks something like this. So I, I haven't really seen something like this before, but uh, I, I think it's a pretty cool effect. We've got to the third option. This one's gonna be pretty quick. It's the glow option. Honestly, this is more or less the same thing as the drop shadow filter, except you can set different colors, but you could set different colors for the drop shadow filter too. So, um, you know, it, it's pretty much the same thing. It has the same option for the blur type. Again, I would always set this to dual co kawase. Um, but yeah, if, if you wanted to add a blur filter here, or sorry, a uh, glow filter, then uh, there's another filter for that as well. Now, I should also mention that each of these effects can be added as their own individual sources as well. So if we right click, 
and go to add, we'll see an option for glows, shadows, and strokes. So if we select stroke, then we can select the uh, original source that we want to apply it to. And uh, we'll just say our uh, clone. So this is the clone of the camera we had before. And now it draws an outline around our camera. So we can deselect the infill zero offset. And now we've got just the outline, but the outline is its own separate source. Now, the reason why you might want to do this is now you can add filters just to that stroke. So we can go here and maybe we can even add a, a shadow to it. And uh, now the shadow just applies to the outline. So you can get really creative with this idea. Maybe you could do some kind of like, you know, I don't like those, uh, those uh, crime shows, how they have like the chalk outlines around like the murdered bodies. I don't know, like they have that in real life too. I don't know why I said only for crime shows, but yeah, you, you can do an effect like that if you wanted. Or maybe you can overlay like five different outlines of your camera and then add slightly offset render delays between them. So you get like this really trippy rainbow camera effect. I don't know, you can, you can like, I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out what you can do with this. But I did promise that I'd show you something unique and creative. So let's uh, make the outlines react to sound. So. Imagine you have an outline around you that reacts to the music that you're playing, or maybe you have a glow around you that gets more intense when you start speaking into the mic. Well, you don't have to imagine because we're, we're going to do that shit right now. So for this effect, you're going to need yet another plugin. This is the Move plugin. Again, link down below. Once you get that plugin, we're going to go into our audio mixer here and just choose any of these channels. I'm going to use desktop audio because that's where I play my music out of. And then we're going to go into filters. And then here we're going to add another filter, audio move. Now, what we're going to tell OBS is, hey, remember that offset filter from earlier, that one where we slide the offset filter and it, it moves like the, the outline away from the camera. We're gonna adjust that offset based on the volume of our music. So we're gonna change the action to setting. We're gonna change the source to source clone because uh, that's our webcam. The filter is gonna be our uh, stroke filter. And then we're gonna adjust the offset slider. And so now if I start to play some music, the outline starts dancing around me. Now, this is moving a little bit too much for me, so we can adjust this factor down maybe just a little bit. And uh, we could also adjust the easing here so that it doesn't move so erratically. And uh, now if I turn the music up more, yeah, you get this effect, which is pretty nice. And you can do the exact same thing with your microphone. So we're gonna go to the filters of our microphone and add another audio move. And this time we're gonna set this to setting, change the source to uh, source clone again, which is our camera. And this time we're gonna work with the glow filter. So we're gonna adjust the, yeah, we'll, we'll adjust the size of the glow. And then now if you look at our camera, whenever I'm speaking, it glows more intensely. So we'll change the color of the glow so we can we can see that better. Maybe maybe we'll change the color to uh, to red here. So now now the glow around me is voice activated. And again, we can change the settings here because I feel like that's moving a little bit too fast. So we'll add some easing here. But yeah, now we've got like this this effect going on and. Imagine if you were like in a Discord call with someone. You could maybe if they they just have like their profile picture, like their icon of their their face. You can put like a little glow filter around their face for every time they speak. So whenever they're speaking, it's like a little indicator that like, oh yeah, this person in Discord is like talking right now. But yeah, there you go. That is a um, what really is a simple plugin made needlessly complicated just the way that I like it. But yeah, let me know what kind of crazy ideas you can come up with using this plugin. Um, share them with me on Twitter if you want. Uh, yes, I'll actually be checking. I'm not just trying to farm followers off you guys. Uh, and the craziest ideas, maybe I'll, I'll retweet them. Uh, also, come follow me on Discord if you want. And watch me on Twitch. Yeah, that'd be cool. We do like cool stuff like this all the time on Twitch. So definitely go check me out there. Thanks, guys. Um, I'll see you whenever it is that I, I don't know why I'm standing up. Um, thanks, guys. I'll see you next video.